Alrighty guys, and welcome back to Star Wars Review today. Doing another uh, news video about uh, the High Republic. So the uh, next wave, I guess, uh, wave two of phase one of the High Republic. Um, this all the uh, stories were already uh, revealed, but we got uh, more uh, details and descriptions on you know uh, each of the upcoming uh, books, novels, and um, you know, uh, other stuff like the audio drama and whatnot. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna jump right into the, uh, first, uh, thingy. I'm um, obviously, it's a lot, but, uh, yeah, next, uh, adult novel, The Rising Storm, which will be written by, uh, um, Kevin Scott and will release on June 29th, 2021, which the description for that said, following the dramatic events of Light of Jedi, the heroes of the High Republic era return to face a shattered, peace in a fearsome foe. In the wake of the great hyperspace disaster and the heroism of the Jedi, the Republic continues to grow, bringing more worlds together under a sing single unified banner led by Chancellor Lena So. The, sp the spirit of unity extends throughout the galaxy with the Jedi and newly established Starlight Beacon Station at the Vanguard. In celebration, the Chancellor plans the Republic Fair, a showcase of the possibilities and peace of the expanding Republic, a precept of the Jedi. Jedi hope to foster. Stellan Gios, Bell Zedifar, Elzar Man, and others join the event as ambassadors of harmony. But as the eyes of the galaxy turn towards the fair, so does the fury of the Nihil. Their leader, uh, Marquion Rowe, is intent on destroy destroying this spirit of unity. His storm descends on the pageantry in celebration, sowing chaos and exacting revenge. As the Jedi struggle to curb the carnage of the rampaging Nihil, they come face to face with their, the true fear their enemy plans to unleash across the galaxy. The kind of fear that even the Force cannot shield them from. So yeah, I would assume what they're talking about at the end there is that, um, um, the purple artifact thingy what, uh, um, Mark Yon Rowe uses, um, on Living Great Storm at the end of, um, Lion the Jedi. Uh, and it's, some stuff has been starting to be peas with that in, uh, the High Republic Adventures comic series, so. Yeah, but it seems like this uh, wave is centered around this uh, Republic Fair, kind of like, um, you know, Wave 1 was centered around the uh, Great Disaster and whatnot, because there's several other stories that are centered around the uh, Republic Fair, um, which, next one, uh, Race, Race to Crash Point Tower, the next uh, middle grade novel, which we were by Daniel Jose Older, and will come out on June 29th, 2021, the same day as uh, The Ride of the Storm. Which Jarrett says, uh, the Republic Fair is coming. Visitors from all over the galaxy are traveling to the planet Volo for a massive, awe-inspiring festival celebrating the Republic. While his fellow Volians uh, prepare for the fair, Jedi Padawan Ram J Jamoram is hiding out in his favorite place, a dingy garage filled with mechanical parts and tools. When a security alarm goes off on the nearby hilltop nicknamed Crash Point Peak, he ventures out with his trusty droid V-18 to investigate. There he discovers that someone has knocked out Volo's communication tower, a frightening sign that Volo and the Republic Fair are in danger. Sure enough, as Ram races to warn the Jedi, the dreaded die hill unleashes a rise attack. It's up to Ram to face down the enemy at Crash Point Tower and send a call for help to the Republic. Luckily, he's about to get some assistance from unexpected new friends. So yeah, um, seems like this middle grade novel will be very, uh, Tied in closely with uh, the Rising Storm, um, a lot more than a test of courage was to uh, lie the Jedi, and it's nice because they come out on the same day. Um, so yeah, but uh, um, um, then next there's the uh, our next uh, young adult novel, uh, Out of the Shadows, which will be from Justine Ireland and come out uh, July twenty second, twenty twenty one. Which for that says, the darkest secrets are the hardest to bring to light. Uh, Sylvester Yarrow is on a streak of bad luck with no end of sight. She's been doing her best to keep her keep the family cargo business going after her mom's death, but between mounting debt and increasing attacks by Nihil on unsuspecting ships, Sai uh, is in danger of losing all she has left from others. She sends to the 
She heads to the uh, galactic capital of Coruscant for help, but gets sidetracked when she's drawn into a squabble between two of the Republic's most powerful families over a patch of space on the frontier. Tangled up in familial politics is the last place Psy uh, wants to be, but the promise of a big payoff is enough to keep her interested. Meanwhile, Jenna Knight Vernestero has been summoned to Coruscant, but with no idea why or by whom. She and her Padawan, Amir Kentoros, arrive at the capital along with Jedi Master Komok Vitus and his Padawan, Reith Silas, and are asked to exist with the property dispute on the frontier. But why? What is so important about an empty patch of space? The answer will lead Vernestra to a new understanding of her abilities and take Sai back to the past and to truths that will finally come out of the shadows. So yeah, um, this one I'm uh, really excited for because of, uh, you know, I really like the Wreath and the Komak and uh, Vernestra and Miri were you know, interesting too. And but you know, to get them in a you know a young adult, uh, I guess, uh, story. Uh, is, uh, you know, I'm excited for that. But um, yeah, and there's some comic stuff. Uh, the uh, High Relic issue six, which will you know once again be by Command Scott, but uh, with art by uh, Georges G- Janty. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but uh, issue six will come out June second, twenty twenty one. Uh, I've actually uh, talked about this issue before, but uh, the description for that says: "Heart of the Dream Gear, new story arc: The Republic Frontier in Crisis. The Jedi of Starlight Beacon join forces with their most feared enemy to face the terror of the unstoppable Dream Gear Horde. Avar Chris and her new allies fight nightmarish creatures on a harsh lava world. Can young Key, can young Jedi Keeve Trennis?" Save her former master from the darkness. Also, who or what is a great progenitor? War? So yeah, um, yeah, I'm yeah, interested in a new story arc for uh, this series. Um, and you know, for more of the drum gear. Um, so yeah, but uh, then there's Higher Public Adventures issue six, which will uh, once again be written by Daniel Jose Older. Couldn't say who uh, the artist will be for this issue, but it will come out on July 7th, 2021. And the description that says, New story arc as the galaxy prepares for the Republic Fair. Court and Far- Farzala leave their Padawan friends to join Leox Jossie and the crew of the vessel on a secret mission for the Jedi. What could possibly go wrong? As it turns out, literally everything. So yeah, uh, seems like the series will kind of maybe go into uh, different characters. Um, definitely with me in the one. Kind of the main Jedi character of the series so far, um, um, will be one of the main characters in Race to Crash Point Tower, so, yeah, but also cool that, uh, Leox and, um, the rest of the crew of the vessel, so I assume, uh, um, Geode and, um, and, um, Affy will be, uh, there too, so, yeah. But, uh, then there's, um, the, uh, audio drama, uh, Tempest Runner, which will be Ramaya Kevin Scott also, um, he's writing a lot, uh, and there's also the, um, uh, graphic novel on the, the Monster of Temple Peak, I believe it was called, there was no new details on that, but he's also writing that, so, yeah, but Tempest Runner will come out August 31st, 2021, and the scripture that says, as one of Markion Rose's most trusted allies, well, as far as Markion trusts anyone, Lorna D has carved out a place for herself as a leader among the Nihil. But it's lonely at the top, and a Tempest Runner like Lorna is always watching her back for threats, whether those threats are from the Jedi or her fellow Nahil. So yeah, I'm um, quite excited for this. Um, I don't really have a story just strictly from the point of view of the Nihil. It's, uh, you know, uh, interesting, and uh, I've enjoyed the audio dramas, whatever. Released in the last two years. Um, well, there's only two, it's the Dooku one, the Dr. Aphra one, but, uh, yeah. Uh, but then there's the, uh, new, uh, manga, uh, The Edge of Balance, which will be written by Justine Ireland and, uh, Shima Shinya. It's, uh, art by, uh, Mizuki, uh, Sakagobara. I probably butchered their names, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, it'll come out, uh, September 7th, 2021. And the description that says, In the aftermath of the great hyperspace disaster, young Jenna Knight, Lily Tora Aussie is designed to help uh, displaced civilians relocate to Banchi, a planet in the Inug system far in the Outer Rim, while, while balancing the arrival of incoming settlers and teaching the Padawan 
of the Temple Outpost, Lily must also confront an attack by the insidious Dragear. After the events of the Republic Fear, uh, deal with the growing threat of the Nihil, but the dangers of Lil Lily and her Padawans are much closer than she thinks. So yeah, I'm um, interested in this. I've uh, I've never read a uh, manga before, so uh, definitely uh, interested in a uh, Star Wars one. So yeah, yeah. And then there's um, another uh, short story for the um, Star Wars Insider magazine. I guess it'll be part of the uh, Starlight uh, series, but um, it'll be titled uh, "Hidden Danger Part One." And we were by just seen Ireland. Um, just doing a lot also for this wave. Um, it will come out uh, June eighth, twenty twenty one. As Tripster Hat says, in, pre in preparation for the Republic Fair on Volo, the art, the art dream, and ag agriculture alliance is having their annual uh, seed bank conference on Starlight Beacon. This is. A chance for the agriculture experts from all over the galaxy to come together to discuss uh, experimental farming techniques and sustainability. Administrator uh, Velko Chahin and Starlight Beacon's head of security, Gal Tarpfin, have been stressed nearly to the breaking point with ensuring the safety of the Starlight while also making certain that the conference goes off without a hitch and the pair will be pushed to the limit with when the Drengear slither onto the scene. So yeah, it seems like kind of Velko and uh, um, Chahin and uh, Gal Tarpin will be kind of main characters in this in these short stories because uh, they're introduced in the uh, Starlight uh, um, First Duty Part 1 short story from Gavin Scott so yeah that's uh, you know nice and I guess there will be that aspect to all the uh, short stories having just characters who continue to be there uh, and whatnot but um anyways finally there's the uh, next um storybook uh um titled showdown at the fair which will be written by uh, george mann and come out october 5th 2021 which says the republic fair has come to the planet volo and everyone is celebrating until the dreaded high hill launch a surprise attack and Buryaga, the wookie and the other jedi of the high republic must save the day so yeah, it'll be like the um one more release alongside Light of the Jedi, uh The Great Jedi Rescue, I think it was called. Which was kind of just a retelling of um I believe the first act of uh Light of the Jedi. I haven't uh gotten that and read it at all, so yeah, I don't fully know what it's all about. But um yeah, uh I don't know if I'll end up getting that one either or not, but um yeah, anyways, I'm, you know, excited for more High Republic stuff, and definitely excited for, um, The Rising Storm and Tempest Runner, um, in the, uh, Marvel comic, uh, and, yeah, and obviously, yeah, The Shadows, I'm definitely, uh, excited for also, but, um, yeah, uh, and, and everything else I'll definitely be, uh, reading and definitely, uh, interested in, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, you can check out my reviews on all the, uh, other, uh, all the, uh, High Republic stuff, like the novels and whatnot, and, uh, yeah, and I'll be doing reviews of all this stuff, and, yeah, a anyways, this video went on a lot longer than I was wanting it to, but, uh, so I'm just gonna end this one off here, it's as you know, see you guys in the next one.